So if you watch my videos or follow me over on social, you know that over the past couple of weeks, I've been doing a campaign with Emirates to highlight their safety measures, in-flight amenities, and child-friendly travel options on their flight routes between Nairobi and New York. I flew to New York to attend my younger brother's wedding, which is absolutely beautiful. And I was able to fly Emirates on their Boeing B777 and Airbus A380 airplanes between Nairobi to Dubai to JFK and then JFK to Dubai back to Nairobi. So in this video, I wanna share with you kind of my overall comprehensive review of everything, of the health and safety measures on the Emirates airplane, of the in-flight amenities, both that are available specifically to business class as well as to all passengers, a little bit about how Emirates makes it much easier to travel with a child, as well as I'll give you kind of like a tour of the business class seating arrangements on the two different airplanes and give you a little walkthrough of the business lounge in Dubai, which is absolutely beautiful. So if you're interested in any of those different things, then definitely keep on watching this video. Someone did ask me on the last video that I made about this partnership, um, how the campaign kind of came about, which I won't talk about in this video, but I am planning on talking about that separately on Instagram. So feel free to make sure that you're following me over there so that you don't miss that content as well. All right, let's get into it. So before I get any further, I know that for some people traveling right now, especially flying, just seems like completely out of mind. Um, I, as I said earlier, I had to fly for my brother's wedding. I don't know if I would have otherwise kind of like hopped on a plane without, um, you know, having a specific need to, although I do have a really big itch to fly. And now that I'm vaccinated, I do feel very comfortable flying. But before we took that initial flight, we weren't vaccinated. And there was a lot of kind of worry about, you know, like what is the safety of traveling right now? So I totally understand if you're in this place where like, well, you know, how are you talking about flying when there's a whole pandemic happening? I get it, I get it. Emirates has a lot of both in-flight and in-airport health and safety precautions that helps make flying easier during this time. Now, obviously a lot of different countries have their own requirements such as having a negative COVID test on entry, um, but Emirates specifically, there are a couple of things that they did to you know, at least make me as a passenger feel like my health and safety were one of their top priorities. One of those things was having restricted access in the airport. Now, when we got to Nairobi, typically the Nairobi airport, Jomo Kenyatta airport has a lot of people kind of flowing in and through it. But when we arrived there, it was really, really quiet. They were only allowing passengers in who had a negative COVID test already and who were on a flight. Um, and then we were actually in the airport, there was hand sanitizer everywhere. But when we got on the plane, we were also given an individual packet of hand sanitizer and also reassured that the airplane had been sprayed with I don't know exactly with what, but with things that would help protect us from any kind of germs, bacteria, viruses that might have been in the air. And on top of that, the actual kind of like attire of the cabin crew, they're I guess for lack of a better term, like they were wearing PPE, you know, they had these really beautiful, very well-designed masks that were kind of completely covering their faces. So that even when they were talking to you, even when they were bringing you your food, you know, you didn't feel as if like whatever, you know, you didn't feel like their own germs were kind of getting on our food. It's kind of a thing that I, we should probably implement even post pandemic. Now I will say on the way going, you know, especially traveling with my son for the first time, I definitely, you know, we came with our own antibacterial wipes and we definitely wiped down every single surface that he might potentially touch because he's in this stage now where he's just like putting his mouth on anything. Um, but you know, still I was, I felt very comfortable that the Emirates crew had done their job even before we got on the plane to sanitize and keep the plane clean. And that sentiment kind of translated, you know, even when we were, even when we stopped in Dubai, even when um, we landed in JFK, and even on the return trip. Another thing I'll quickly say, and this is at least in business class, I'm not 100% sure if the same case in economy, but when we were being served our food, we had the option of either having it being served covered or uncovered. And I'm actually assuming, because usually in economy, you, you receive your food covered, and maybe I think in business, it's more served restaurant style where it's uncovered, but we always requested that our food be served covered. Again, another health and safety precaution, just to kind of make sure um, that 
you know, whatever we're getting is as clean and as sterile as possible. Now I'll talk a little bit about flying with a toddler and how Emirates makes family travel a lot easier. So I actually have an entire video kind of like vlog about the experience on our flight to the US flying with a kid. Um, oh my gosh, it was really hectic to carry all of our bags and the stroller and the car seat and the kid <laughs> and still try to capture content but the emirates cabin crew made our lives so much easier they came by and gave us a little like welcome pack for our son which had formula he's not taking formula but in case you have a kid who has formula had formula had milk um had crayons um had a little like baby blanket had a little like plush toy so a little thing Things that just show you like hey we actually care about the kids on this airplane and they ha have also taken them into consideration and putting together like a little kind of like pouch like a, a kids like little activity pouch for them another thing is that the cabin crew came by so often um, and tried to be as helpful as possible and definitely you know especially with it being our first time flying with a kid I didn't want to be that parent who's like has a child screaming for five hours on the plane luckily we didn't have that but the cabin crew was extremely helpful and continued to ask us like hey do you need us to do anything like oh hey like do you want us to hold him wearing gloves of course additionally if you have a slightly smaller baby our baby's super he's not a baby anymore he's like a year and a half but he's really long um, but they do have bassinets and this is in all classes they have bassinets so that if you book and you tell them like hey I'm flying with the kid they'll try and seat you somewhere where you can actually like put the kid inside this little fold down bassinet um so that they can sleep which would have been so helpful for us because our son did not sleep at all on the flight going there i think he was just super excited and like oh like this is a whole new thing like what is this and then when he did sleep he wanted to sleep on our bodies um but if you have a smaller baby especially i feel like the ideal time to fly with the child is really like before they're six months old like when they're just having bottles and breast milk and you don't have to worry about solid feeding like get them on a plane <laughs> because you can just put them in the bassinet and they'll just sleep and it'll be just fine so that's not also an option on emirates um, flights if you're thinking about flying with a baby or with a small child so I've flown Emirates before as an economy passenger and one of the things that has always stood out to me about Emirates specifically was how delicious their food is. There are some airlines, first of all, that don't serve food, but there's some airlines where the food is just like really basic and bland, but Emirates food has always been really, really good and in business class, the food was even better, even better, like really high quality. Just the food tasted so fresh. I had shrimp, I had fish, I had chicken, I ate everything i did not miss a meal on the way there i was like please wake me up for all meals because i want to enjoy all of this and they bring it out to you they really serve it as if you're at a restaurant they bring out linens there's proper cutlery and it just makes the experience the dining experience a little bit more elevated um and even the way the seats recline there's like a specific setting for when you are eating because then the footrest comes out and you like put your feet up and it's just complete bliss but the food the the fine dining above sea level that Emirates provides is just really, really exquisite. Not to even get into the cocktail options and the alcohol options, if you are a drinker, on the flight there, um, one of the cabin crew members made the most delicious drink for me that I have ever had and I tried to order it somewhere else and it didn't come out the same way, which makes me really sad, but um, what was it called? It was called a gimlet, a vodka gimlet, and it was like, vodka and cucumber and mint and it was so delicious so 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 good definitely one of the best cocktails that i've ever had again on an airplane um so it was really really good sadly i tried to order it somewhere else and the person kind of looked at me like this which i just should have known that i should have changed to something else but it was not the same so um if i forgot her name if you are ever watching this video if you could please send me the recipe to that cocktail because it was so delicious and no one else knows how to make it the way that you do thank you <laughs> so another in-flight amenity that everyone who flies on emirates has the ability to experience is their ice entertainment system so the ice system has a wonderful array of music and movies and one of the coolest things about it is because emirates is an airline that flies all around the world so there are african movies there are southeast asian movies there's a lot of bollywood there's nollywood there's arab movies in arabic there's 
like American, like Hollywood stuff. There's so many options. They have Disney classics. So, so many options for things to watch. Um, I tend to not be, I think I, it depends. I try and sleep on an airplane, but I also try and like get ahead of jet lag by watching a movie to keep me awake if I need to be awake. So I watch a couple of different movies. I watched Finding Nemo that I originally had put on for my child, but then he wasn't that interested. So then I just rewatched it again. <laughs> Um, watch a couple of different movies and so another thing is that if you are the kind of person who likes to watch movies on a plane I actually want to know actually comment down below are you the kind of person who when you're flying watches every single movie that's available or are you the kind of person who puts on an eye mask and sleeps for the entire flight so if you are the kind of person who likes to watch different movies there are so many movies on the ice entertainment system there are also podcasts there's also music and then of course you can like watch you know the flight cameras and, and see what's happening outside um, which is really cool to do during takeoff and landing by the way that's another in-flight amenity that emirates has that really kind of surpasses the competition I have flown business class before, but not on Emirates. And the Emirates business class experience is completely untouched, unmatched. I've already talked about the food and how delicious it was, but the comfort of the seats and the service is just like so high quality. So let me quickly show you how the business class seating arrangement is set up on the Boeing B777. And then here's how the setup is on the Airbus A380. Ooh, the Airbus 380. So one big difference to note actually between the Airbus and the Boeing airplane is that the Airbus, because it's the double decker to like two level, it actually has more space on that first level. And so there's this really nice lounge like in the back of the business class section where you can go for snacks, you can kind of go stretch your legs. So we actually ended up spending quite a bit of time in that lounge because my son was quite cranky on the flight from JFK to Dubai. But again, the cabin crew was incredibly helpful. Um, they're nice tables there so if you don't feel like kind of sitting dining in your seat you can take your meals there we kind of like just use that space to do some playing and you know brought out a crayon and, and had him kind of scribble around so that's really nice if you want like an extra leg stretch or if you're just curious about what the difference is between the a380 and the b777 to me that was the biggest difference like the seating is slightly different but I think comparable, but that lounge is a really unique element um, that makes the experience a, a little bit better. Another one of the perks of flying business class was that Emirates gives you these beautiful Bulgari toiletry bags that have kind of everything that you need for the flight. So there's lotion, there um, was deodorant, um, there was a mirror, and the bag is really beautiful. I actually still have mine and still use mine. It's definitely something you can reuse again or re-gift if you wanna re-gift. And then obviously there's just extra service and attention in business class, you know, we were constantly asked, but not in an interrupting way, but like just asked, check, checked in on like, do you need some water? Um, do, you, do you need anything? Do you want something to eat, something to snack on? You want tea, you want wine, you know? And so the cabin crew is just incredibly attentive, um, but also really respectful. So I talked a little bit earlier about how I didn't want to miss any meals whatsoever. And so I had them kind of tap me gently um, when it was meal time to take my order. Whereas Jonathan is the complete opposite. He really believes in sleep over food especially on an airplane so they didn't bother him at all if he missed a meal they didn't bother him Asher they didn't bother him um, and so they kind of really cater to your wishes whatever experience that you want to have on the flight they will make it happen now the very best part of flying Emirates business class is the lounge in the Dubai airport the business lounge is absolutely Beautiful. First of all, it's massive. Let me start by showing you the Emirates business class in JFK because I think it'll give you a better appreciation of the business class lounge in Dubai. So in JFK, the business class lounge um, was a decent size. It was probably about the same size as most of the different airport lounges I've ever been in. One really awesome perk though of the Emirates business class lounge is that when it was time to board our plane, we just went straight 
like we didn't have to leave the lounge to go to our gate. We boarded the plane from within the lounge. So that was really dope. But the Dubai Airport Emirates Business Class Lounge is massive. It's like maybe five times the size of the one at JFK. And JFK is not a small little airport. Like that's a big airport. But the Dubai Airport Emirates Business Class Lounge is just huge. It has so many different places to sit, so many different um, places to relax, put your feet up. They have these little like nap corners if you just want to kind of stretch out and recreate that airline experience of, you know, having your feet up. Those chairs kind of mimic that. I wasn't able, they were so full though. I wasn't able to kind of like go fully in and experience that for myself. They also have, they have an entire spa inside the business lounge. And of course, obviously the food is the same quality of food that you get on the airplane and the same quality of service. So people kind of coming to you and asking whether you want to drink something or eat something um, as well as offering you different food. And so it was really great to be able to stop there in between our different flights for our layovers and like let the kid run around a little bit um, and, and kind of like burn off some energy and also have us kind of like just relax and prepare ourselves for the next leg of the trip. They also have showers and bathrooms, of course. But if you're not flying business class, that doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the Dubai airport. I have a video on 10 different things that you can do at the Dubai airport. It's a huge airport with tons of amazing things to do. So feel free to check out that video as well. If you've never flown Emirates before, you should definitely consider doing so. It really is an elite airline and not just in business class. As I said earlier, I have flown Emirates economy several times. Um, before we moved to Kenya, I had traveled to Kenya maybe five or six different times and I flew Emirates at least half of those times. So I feel like I'm low-key an Emirates pro, at least on the JFK to Nairobi route because I've flown that route several times now and it just is always a good experience no matter what class I'm in. So if you're interested in flying somewhere that Emirates serves, which is almost the entire world, definitely go to emirates.com and book your next flight with them. Thanks so much guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.